Hi, everyone. This is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics, and welcome to another live stream. Today, we're going to talk about um, prayer and talk about a way of praying that's going to help you manifest whatever it is you want in your life. I want to thank so many of you for being here. I want to see some more likes and um, subscriptions and tapping the bell. Today, we're going to speak about this two-minute miracle prayer that will change your life. And this is powerful because it's going to help a whole lot of you see a lot of the things that you're trying to manifest come to life, come into play. So if you want to know about this prayer, about this type of um, prayer to God, to the universe, to bring in things that you want in your life, I want you to watch this video all the way through because you guys know I love to give you guys some extra tips. But before we get started, if you guys are new to this channel, this is a law of attraction manifesting metaphysical channel that gives you easy to understand information to change your life. Now, listen, this channel gives you all types of manifesting techniques all in one place. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the bell. Thank you so many of you for already putting your comments. Thank you. We already have 72 people here, and it's only one minute. So now, why, why am I doing this video for today? I get a lot of people that are writing me saying, Yvette, you know, I want this in my life. I want that in my life. And I can absolutely, while reading what they're sending me, feel the tension, feel the despair, feel the worry. And I said, whoa, they're coming at this totally the wrong way. It doesn't matter how many times I tell people you're coming at this the wrong way. I still get comments. I still get people writing on live right now. That is a powerful number and I love it. So many people are signing on. Thank you to my um, manager, my assistant here also. And let's get to what it is I want to say. Now, listen, everyone, this is a live stream, okay? So how we usually do the live stream, we talk about the content. I try to give you the information, help benefit you and your life. And then at the end, we get to some of the comments. Now, I can't go through all the comments at one time, all in one live stream. It's just too many. But I will tell you, I'm here. I'm seeing everybody writing comments. And I love you guys. And thank you for supporting this channel. Now. What if I told you there is a particular prayer that you can use to help manifest whatever it is you want in your life? Once you learn the technique of this prayer, it will help you for the rest of your life. You will no longer indulge in the traditional prayer. Now, when I say indulge in the traditional prayer, I'm talking about begging and pleading. For a metaphysician or for people that are here following this channel, we know that there we don't beg, okay? We know that we don't get out there and start begging for whatever it is that we want. We know that there is a God. We know that there is a universe. We know Allah, Jehovah. We know that there is a higher supreme being, and we know this being is inside of us, okay? Inside of you, inside of me, inside of everything. So because we know this is true, we know we have the power to create whatever it is in our lives. We know the universe has given us, given us this power as a blessing when we came here. We know we are the one creating our lives. Now, how is, now how is it you can use this prayer to get yourself out of situations, to help yourself in life in general? And let me tell you again, by just understanding this, you will, you will basically be opening up yourself to a vast amount of power that would enable you to create whatever it is you want in your life. Again, I see all the blessings. I see everything there. And we're going to keep it going. Now, a lot of you guys want houses, want cars. You want a better life. You want, you want, you want better health. There's so many things everyone wants out there. And a lot of people are feeling like they're alone, like they're by themselves and there's no one to help them. I'm here to tell you today that we're moving beyond that. 
I'm going to give you the one technique that is going to help you live the life you want to live. And again, you must believe everyone. This is a tutorial, a step-by-step, -step, and it is a miracle prayer that we call affirmative prayer. Again, I spoke about this in previous videos. And the reason I'm coming back to it, because it is Sunday, I try to keep it very spiritual on Sunday. And this is what we're going to talk about today that is going to open up the doors for each and every one of you. If you guys are understanding what I'm saying, please give me a thumbs up. Because this, this live stream today, once you learn it, you will be able to manifest whatever it is you want in your life. But I will tell you this, you must you must, everyone, take action in the direction where you want to go. You guys have to understand that. Here, we do not teach to lie on the sofa to do nothing. We teach to get out there, learn, go to school, get your job, whatever it is you're trying to do. Start your own business. The thing is, by learning these techniques on this channel, it's allowing you to open up the doors for the universe to work through you and bring what it is into your life, what it is that you want. And this affirmative prayer is one way of getting it done. Now, I'm I wanna make sure I'm covering everything, you guys, because this is very important. And it's important for me to know that you guys got this and that this is going to help so many of you in life. Okay, so now what are the... What are the steps to affirmative prayer? Now, you're probably saying, well, Yvette, what exactly is affirmative prayer? I'll, I'll read it right off. I'll read it exactly the way it states in Google at this moment. A form of prayer or metaph metaph metaphysical technique that is focused on positive outcome rather than the negative outcome. Again, it focuses on the positive outcome, not the negative outcome. So basically you're speaking, stating what it is that you want in a positive way. You're focused on what it is you want. Again, I keep telling you guys, steer your ship in the direction of where you want to go. That's all you need to know. Steer your ship in that direction. Do not focus on the negative, what happened. Don't focus on that stuff. This is what affirmative prayer is. And I'm going to give you a simple way and a more thorough way to use it. It's all based on how you feel or how you absorb the information. So now, thank you for all the thumbs up, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it, and I'm much love to all of you. Now, affirmative prayer is basically just stating what it is that you want as if it is already done. So affirmative prayer, it's, almost, it's like an affirmation, but you're saying, thank you, God, for blessing me with my new house. I am so happy. I'm in it. It's beautiful. It's in the right location. I have beautiful neighbors. I'm on the water and I have a two, two car garage with wooden floors. I have everything that I want. Affirmative prayer is stating what it is that you want as if it is already done. But we're going to take it a little further than this, you guys. We're, I'm going to give you the step-by-step -step to do a powerful affirmative prayer. And we're going to call that a spiritual mind treatment, you guys. And listen, if you guys are all part of you, if you're part of Unity Church, um, this is the technique that they teach. And you guys are getting it right here on a live stream. Okay? So affirmative prayer is just stating what it is that you want as if it is already done. Okay? Now, what is the next step to doing an affirmative prayer? The affirmative prayer would be releasing whatever it is that you, that you want in your life, releasing it and then moving on, releasing it and moving on. Now, what are the steps? Now, I'm seeing we got some spam going on in here. And um, basically, my, um, my person needs to put this person out. Okay. Thank you. You just did it. Thank you. <laughs> Put that person out. I can't believe how much spam is going on on YouTube with all these videos going out there and they still got all the spam going out. Okay. So now where are we now? Where are we now? What are the steps that we must take to do this prayer correctly? Now, again, you guys, I hope you guys have your pens and papers out. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. Okay. The first step to affirmative prayer, and we call this type of affirmative prayer a spiritual mind treatment. 
So what it is, you're giving yourself a treatment to change the way you're thinking, to change your subconscious mind belief to being whatever it is you want in life. And remember, once you do that, your conscious mind and your subconscious mind meet together and you are on a conscious level of getting whatever it is that you want. So the thing is, is that once the two of you meet and the two of you agree, that is your conscious mind and your subconscious mind, the universe will bring it into your life. So now a spiritual mind treatment is basically telling your subconscious mind what you want, what it is that you want and what it is you have. Mentally, fooling your subconscious mind. Listen, blessings to you, Rising Vibes. I see the donation. Blessings to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So now, what is it that I'm telling you that once, once you realize that the spiritual mind treatment is here to impregnate into your subconscious mind what it is that you want, the doors will open. Now, how do this start? What are the steps? And again, this is going to open up your life to everything that you want, everyone. If you learn this, believe me, your life will change. Now, the first step is knowing what it is that you want. I'm hoping that you guys are writing this out or replay this um, live stream to get the information. The first step is knowing what it is that you want, okay? The next step would be that there's a higher power, a higher power, everyone. That higher power could be your higher self. It could be God. It could be Allah. It could be Jehovah. It could be universe, whatever it is. But you are identifying that there is a higher power. And I will explain how this is going to work. The next step is acknowledging unification. I am part of this higher power. This higher power is part of me. I am part of this higher power. Because this power is part of me and I am part of this power, we are one. So it is knowing what you want, stating what you want as if it is already done, acknowledging that you have a higher source that is your supplier. Knowing that this supplier is inside of you and you inside of this supplier, meaning you and this and this God, you in this universe, you in this supreme being is one. Aha, uh -huh. so that's already three steps. The next step is the declaration, stating what it is that you want, okay? Then you're going to follow it with grat gratitude. Gratitude for whatever you already have. Think about all the beautiful things that you have and showing gratitude for what you have putting yourself at a higher vibration because you're happy about what you're having and at the same time opening yourself up for the universe to give to you what it is that you want. The next step is basically the final step and that is release. You're releasing it to the universe knowing that it is already done. Now I'm going to give you an example of this. So I hope you guys are writing this down. I even have it behind me, a desire a higher power, unification, a statement, um, you could gratitude and release, okay? Now, there is one other step that goes along with this, and this is denial. Um, I spoke about it in another one of my videos. And basically what it's saying is saying, like, after you do gratitude, you can then release whatever it is that's inside of you that could be holding you back. Like, I release any childhood um, trauma that could be holding me back. I release any. Some people like to use the release and some people don't. Sometimes I do because people say that when you do the release, sometimes it brings up negative emotions from things that have happened and they want to keep it out of this prayer. So you can choose to do either one. So again, you're going to state what it is that you desire, acknowledge that there's a higher power, unification with you and this higher power, make your statement, be grateful for what it is that you already have, and then release what it is that you desire to the universe, okay? So now, if you guys are understanding me, listen, give me a thumbs up if you understand it, because I want to make sure you guys really have this, because again, this is going to open up the doors for you guys to manifest whatever it is that you want in life. Now, the thing is, you guys have to, and it's important, believe in yourself. 
Okay. You guys just don't know how many times I get people writing me. Yvette, I did it. I did it, Yvette. As soon as I did it, nothing happened. Yvette, I did it. And you know what? Everything just fell apart. And I just, I'm just a wreck. And I'm, I'm reading what they're writing and I'm like, holy crap, you may have said you did it, but you really didn't because you're so full of anger. You're so full of um, despair and worry. You, you're just so full of it. Oh my God, how can anything happy manifest for you if you're such in a negative um, mood? How? And that's why I'm bringing this to your attention, how important it is for you, for you to let it go to the state what it is that you want, know that there is a reason for everything that happens and move forward, taking action in the direction that you want to go in. So now, thank you for, thank you, thank you, thank you. And there's 209 people here. I want to say thank you. We got 131 thumbs up. Again, if you like this material that I'm giving to you guys, especially on this live Sunday, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the bell, okay? So now, let me give you an example of a affirmative prayer, a spiritual mind treatment, which is a type of affirmative prayer. Let's just say we want to manifest a new home, okay? Because I know a lot of people out there want to manifest a new home or relocate to a new area. So now let's just say, what is the desire? The desire is to have a new home. Again, um, Tanya Johnson, thank you for the, the, the live chat. Thank, thank you for the donation, the super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, getting back to the home. Let's just say your desire is to have a, a home. Now this home, let's make this, make this up, is a home on the water, um, basically a, a, a townhouse. Let's just say a townhouse, like what I have, okay? A townhouse in New York on the water, okay? So I'm gonna use myself as an example. So the thing is, what you're going to do, you're going to have your desire of the townhouse on the water in New York. The next thing you're going to say, and I'm gonna flow through this real quick. Um, my desire at this point is that I have a townhouse, a beautiful three bedroom, three bathroom townhouse on the water um, in New York, a place that I just totally love. I know, God, that you are my protector. I know, God, that you are my supplier. I know, God, you are the supreme being and nothing else exists without you. I know that everything that I want in life comes from you, God. I know that you know everything. You're all powerful, all knowing. And whatever it is comes from you, God. At this point, unification, I know God because you are, you know everything and you are in everything. I know God that you're inside of me and I am inside of you. I know everything that is, that exists, exists in you. So that makes me and you one because you are in everything and you are in me. I know God, you and I are one. Now, what is the statement, the declaration at this point, God, because I know that you're in me and I'm in you and I create my life. I state at this moment that I have my beautiful three bedroom, three bathroom townhouse. I see myself on the water. I see myself with a boat slip. I see myself with a boat in the boat slip. I see myself with the best neighbors that I could ever have. I see everything working out beautiful where I live and I am very happy. I am very happy. I have a two car garage. I have the sun shining in my place. My home is lit up with nothing but light and I am very happy. At this time, God, I am grateful for everything that I have. I'm grateful for the job that I have. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for myself. I'm grateful for my health. God, I'm just grateful for everything that I have at this moment and look forward to all the blessings that ha that's coming my way. At this point, God, thank you, God, for blessing me with my new home, my home, my three bedroom, my three bedroom, three bathroom townhouse on the water in New York. God, I release this to you because God, I know I cannot do anything but through you. I know everything that manifests in my life comes through you. And I give this to you. Again, I see myself with three bedrooms, three bathrooms on the water. I see myself with perfect neighbors. I see myself with my boat slip. I see myself just laughing, having a good time every morning, waking up to the sun shining in my place. I'm just happy, content, and just loving life all together. God, I release this to you. And so it is done. Now, this is a simple example, which I just made up right now concerning a townhouse on the water in New York. 
And basically, this is how you're going to pray. Now, when are you going to do this? You can do this at night before going to sleep. Why? Because you're giving your command to your subconscious mind as the last thing you wanted to remember before going to sleep. Remember, when you go to sleep, your conscious mind rests, your subconscious mind comes out. It's already there, but it has more control at this point. And it can absorb whatever it is that you are giving it a statement about. And then as it absorbs it, it processes it while you are sleeping, while the conscious mind is not in the way with all that chitter chatter going on. This is important. So now once this is done, uh, you can also do it in the morning, everyone. Why? It's because you're starting your day in a way where you know this is the direction I want to go in. So I did it at night. I let my subconscious mind marinate on it a little bit, possibly giving me any dreams or any information that I may have needed. And now I'm waking up in the morning and this is my day. I'm going to work. I'm going to do whatever it is I need to do to live. But at the same time, I'm throwing this out again for the universe to start working things out having a newspaper come my way, having an ad come my way or a circular in the mail come my way that say, hey, look, look at this beautiful home on the water, three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and it comes with a boat slip. Aha, ha ha. And that's how the universe works. Now, what are you gonna do? You're gonna go about your same day, but then you're gonna look at that ad, look at that circular and say, wow, well, let me just go and look at it. And that's how the doors open up. Now, listen, you may not get that one. Another one might come. You may not get that one. All of a sudden, boom, you have that house. You're like, oh my God, Yvette, I don't know how it, how it worked out that I'm in this house, but I am actually here living in the house on the water, three bedrooms, three bathrooms, a boat slip. Yvette, I can't believe I did it. I'm in New York. I'm in New York with you. <laughs> so the thing is, this is how the universe works. The universe would then, throughout the day, try to place people, things in your way, in your area, so that you can make the connections to get to where it is that you want. It's the same thing with a car. It's the same thing with health, everyone. God would direct you to the right person to take time to open up the doors for you to have perfect health. OK, do not sit there and think you are alone. You are not everyone. God has placed universal laws here to help you. And it's all about you understanding, using them and, 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 and manifesting whatever it is you want in your life. This is how it works. It doesn't matter if you want that car, that house, that bank account, financial freedom, travel all over the world, whatever it is you want in life. You can have it. I just ask you to take action. State what it is that you want and drive or steer your ship in the direction of where you want to be. Again, let's talk over the steps one more time. Affirmative prayer is just making a statement of what it is that you want as if you already have it. Thank you, God, for blessing me with my new home. Thank you, God, for blessing me with my new car. I now have a Range Rover, um, candy apple red with black interior with silver rims. Whatever it is that you want, you state it as if you already have it. And that is affirmative prayer. It's where do you think they came up with affirmations? Aha! Uh -huh. Affirmations and affirmative prayer is basically the same. But when I say prayer, I throw in God, universe, um, um, supreme being, higher self. So it is like, thank you, God, for blessing me. Thank you, universe, for bl blessing me. Whatever it is, if, this, if these steps are too hard for you, just make an affirmative prayer using your higher power, your higher self, God, Allah, Jehovah, whatever, and state what it is that you want as if it is already done. And the best way of doing it is by saying, thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Okay, let's say this again. Thank you, God. Thank you, universe. Why? Because when you do this, you are actually stating it is already done.
And that is the difference between traditional prayer and affirmative prayer. The steps to a spiritual mind treatment takes it to the next level where you're saying, I know what I want. I know there's a higher power. I know something is supplying me with everything that I want. I know everything that I want comes from a supreme being that I manifest in my life. I know the supreme being is in me, through me, and all around me. He's in me. He's in you. He's in everything, the birds, the trees, everything. And because this person, this, this supreme being is inside of me, we are one. And I can also manifest whatever it is that I want in my life. Biblical terms. God, Jesus said that what I do, you can do, you can do also and even more. I'm not saying the exact words, but that what I do, you can do also and even more. Listen, the Bible is the best book that has ever been written. And there's lesson after lesson after lesson in this book telling you, directing you in your path on what it is you need to do. If you believe that the God that you seek is inside of you, that means God has already blessed you with the ability to create the life that you want. You are a creator. The thing is, you must use the universal laws to get there. And that's what this channel is about, educating you about universal laws and what you need to do to absolutely manifest whatever it is you want in your life. So again, it's desire of what you want, knowing that there's a higher power, knowing that this God is inside of you and you inside of this God, making y'all one, then stating what it is that you want as if it is already done, then being grateful for whatever it is that you already have, because everything God gives to you, just say, thank you. I may not have a car, but I have two legs to walk, God, and I am very thankful. You, Whatever it is, you don't have to mention not having a car, but you can mention that I got two legs to walk. You can mention I got a roof over my head. You can mention anything. I have a job that pays the bills. Thank you, God, for everything that you have given me so far. And that is being grateful. The next thing is, is basically stating again what it is that you want and releasing it out to the universe putting that stamp on it, saying, God, it is done. It is done, okay? This is one of the things that I'm giving you a tip for those people that are still here. God, it is done. It is done. Thank you, God. I'm giving this to you and it is done. When you do this, you're stating, I'm not worried about this anymore. God, I'm putting this in your hands. Universe, I'm putting this in your hands and I'm letting it go. This is the importance of a spiritual mind treatment, affirmative prayer. And let me tell you, you will get results. Just believe that you can do it. Believe that you are the creator of your life. And that's all you need to know. So listen, everyone, if you want to know anything else about my world of metaphysics, listen, everything is in the description, you guys. We do manifesting on this channel here for everything, no matter if it's bay leaf, cinnamon, prayer, affirmation, scripting, whatever it is, this is the manifesting channel. And I give you the information so that you can easily understand. And I treat you like I'm your auntie, like your mom, like I don't know about grandma, but I treat you like I'm a family member or the neighbor next door. So this information is given to you so that you can understand, put it into action and get results. Again, Anything you want to know for coaching or readings, anything is in the description, everyone. I want you guys to watch the next video. After this, you can go to my homepage. If you want to know more about prayer, I have a prayer playlist, everyone, that you can watch all the videos and learn exactly how to pray to absolutely manifest whatever it is you want in your life. Listen, prayer has helped me so much. Get out of situations, accumulate wealth. Um, my job, all these things has happened. I went from food service, house cleaning, all the way up to a nurse practitioner, everyone. I'm at the top of my game. And I think, I don't think, I know, I just manifested something very big this week. And when it happens, well, it already happened. But when it, when it, when I get the proof of it, I will let you guys know. But something big just happened in my life last week. So I'm not going to throw it out there, but I already know it's already done. But the thing is my life through prayer work, 
through affirmation, visualization, mirror work. These techniques have taken me from food service, house cleaning, to the top of my game as a nurse practitioner, to owning an apartment building, to basically starting my own business, not one time, but twice, I three times, I started my own business. So listen, you guys, anything that I do, you can do also. These are just techniques and they work. Whatever someone else has, you can have two or even more. And you guys have to understand that. So listen, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to get to some of these comments right away. And I am so sorry about the spam, about the things going on. Um, YouTube, you got to get it together, people. You got to get it together. This is, this is not good. Anyway, much love to all of you guys out there, especially those people that have been following me for the longest much love to all of you. I'm going to get to some of the comments for those people that are signing off. Blessings to you and have a great day. Okay. But I want to say hello to everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning, Grand Rising. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to you. Hello. We got Germany in the house. Listen, much love, Germany. <laughs> I love it. Have, um, she's live. Yes, I am live. Yes, I'm here. Uh, AA likes. I love it. Thank you and welcome. Um, uh, hello, hello. Good morning. Blessing, blessing. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Sunday to you too. Good morning. Oh, uh, we got Bridgeport, Connecticut. We got Italy. Hello from Italy, Peru, and Jersey City. Oh my God, you've been all over the world. <laughs> I love it. Far Rockaway. Hello, Long Island. Oh, hello, New York, Queens. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love Far Rockaway. Uh, you said Far Rockaway strong. I love it. Well, this is Long Island strong. <laughs> love it. Good morning. We got Georgia in the house. Oh my God. We got so many thumbs up. Morning blessings. We got so many thumbs up. Um, again, thank you, my manager. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Um, hello from Cedar Hill, Texas. Hello, Texas. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Such appreciated for your gift, pure positive energy. Listen, on this channel, on Sundays, we give nothing but pure, pure, what you call positive energy. And I love it. Um, thank you. Thank you, God. Blessings. And thank you for my assistant for getting rid of this person. Um, thank you, Yvette, for your love and attention. Thank you. Thumbs up. Um, thank you, Rising by for the 111. I love it. I love it. I love the positive energy you throw it out. Um, love it. Love it. Love it. I love it. Happy Sunday. Um, yes. Catch the replay. Play, uh, okay. And, and thank you. Um, hello, Yvette. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, bestie. I love that. Sounds like my niece and my nephew. Um, and following you from Nambia, Africa. Quite insightful information you always share. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hey, listen, my fellow African family member. I love it. I love it. I love it. Blessings to you. Um, thumbs up to everybody. Good morning. Thanks, Yvette, for so much um, helpful information. I can truly see a difference in my life since I've discovered your channel. I went into the shop and went crazy. I ordered so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not too sure if I've seen it. Maybe because of the name. I don't know. I don't recognize the name, but thank you. Uh, okay. Good morning. Love your examples. Good morning. Good morning. I'm a beginner and I need a private lesson. Hey, listen, sign right up. I would love to talk to you. Okay. Thank you, Spirit, for giving us event. Hey, look, thank you. Hey, Tanya, Tanya Johnson. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm loving that picture, lady. Loving it. Look like you're in Miami or something. I don't know. <laughs> but love the picture. Celebrating the first supper, su um, supper chat with Tanya John. Love it, love it. Oh, wow. Uh, super, uh, lo love it. That's the super chat. Okay, thank you. Um, it's my, yes, it's my case. Good morning, good morning. Um, pay, it in, pay it in cash. Good morning. Um, namaste. Yes. Thank you for your dedication. Thank you. Thank you. My townhouse. I love it. I know you want, but go right ahead and get it. Namaste. Namaste. Caribbean here. Hey, love it. Hello. Love it. Um, namaste. Namaste. Appreciate it. I wish everyone happiness and be blessed. Always great queen. Blessings to you. Namaste. Appreciation for India. Hello, India. Amen. Amen. Um, uh, all praises due to the most high. Absolutely. Um, namaste, ma'am. Namaste to you. Blessings to you. Good. Um, God bless you all. Namaste, India. India again. India is always representing on this channel. So Modi B and South Africa is always representing. Um, oh, I can't forget my UK and Canada also now. <laughs> Thank you. Blessings. Um, blessings. Amen. Thank you. I'm in New York. Hello, New York. Oh, Brooklyn. You're about 20, 30 minutes from me. Um, thank you, God, Yvette. Thank you. Yes, you can. 
Thank you, thank you. Shout out to Brenda. To uh, Brenda, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Good morning. I missed a lot. Sorry. Affirmative prayer. Uh, listen, I'm sure I went over it again when you came in, and, and I'm sure you could just repeat this live stream. Um, thank you, financial freedom. I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love this. Thank you. Thank. Thanks for all of this. Blessings to everyone. Namaste. Always thinking of you as my favorite. Oh, oh, it's so sweet. I'm auntie. I have a whole lot of nieces and nephews. Thank you, Yvette. Your messages are uplifting and informative. Needed this? Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Nah, you got the auntie role. Auntie Yvette. <laughs> Not grandma, huh? Um, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, what is it? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a blessed day. Hello, Missy Beth. Blessing. Thank you for your positive. Hello from Peru, Jersey City again. Okay, congratulations. Congratulations. Peace and blessings. I believe in manifestation. This channel is and will continue to be a blessing in my life. Thank you. Thank you, Yvette, for the channel. You are helping so many people. Blessing will come to your way. Oh, thank you. I love the blessings. Thank you, God, for financial freedom. Hello, Zambia, Africa. Love you, um, Yvette. Can you put manifestation techniques to uh, own a house? Absolutely. We just gave that example. Um, in fact, that was an example, to own your own house. Absolutely. Um, we have Bunya. I'm not too sure. Hey, Italia. Um, I guess that's what you're saying. Um, Bled, North Carolina. Um, good morning, Um North Carolina in the house. I love it. New Orleans, Canada, um, Malawi. Uh, we have St. Louis, Toledo. Oh, so many Ghana. So many people are here. Um, this event, next event, how to let go and living in the wish fulfilled with examples. That's another video. And we will follow that up because I get a lot of questions on that. I've done a video on that, but it's another question that people need help on. And I will be putting that out there very soon. Okay, many blessings to you, Yvette, and your family. Houston, Texas, I'm in one with God. I love it. Hello, India. India's in the house. Love that you take time to read the comments at the end. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Hi from SA. I'm not too sure what SA is. Um, Yvette, next video tip. Please talk about letting go and living it. Okay, now we said that. UK, thank you, thank you, thank you, New Orleans. Um. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I Luanda Watson. Okay, I will look for your order. Thank you. Uh, that next video tip, please let it go. Okay. Um, congrats. Shout out to New Orleans, San Antonio. Yes, I believe I need to let go and be able to wish. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing your thoughts and experience with me because I am forever passing it on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Blessings to you. So now I just want to end this by saying, you guys. Whatever it is you want in your life, you can have it. I am a person from a single mom. I did all the things with these steps, having belief that I can be, do, and have whatever it is that I want. I bypassed almost every one of my friends to an area, lifted myself up to be, doing, and having whatever it is that I wanted. I'm telling you this, not to brag, not to tell you, hey, look, I'm an African-American female that owned a 12-unit apartment building, that had a business, that rose up, that's a nurse practitioner, that makes six figures, that basically is living financial free at this moment. But I am telling you, I am telling you, you can have the same thing too. There are millionaires popping up every day. Every time you turn around, somebody has came up with something and now is a millionaire. I'm telling you, you can have the same thing. If you don't want to be a millionaire, you just want financial freedom. That's all you want. That's all you want. You have your house, your car, travel all over the world, taking care of your family. That's what's important, to live and to be happy. And I'm telling you, no matter what it is that you want, you can have it. As long as you believe that you can have it, believe that you will have it and take action and let the universe do the rest. Again, everybody, I'm going to say thank you. Thank you for your sh um, sharings. Um, thank you. Three times three. South Africa. SA is South America. Oh, okay. Hey, look, what am I supposed to SA, I didn't know. Okay, there we go. Um, how do I order from you? Please look in the description. South Africa. I love it. So what helps? So what can 
help when you have a bad day and a lack of belief. The thing is, you just have to say to yourself, there's a God inside of you. There's a God inside of you. That If there's a God inside of you, there is absolutely nothing that you can't do. And if there's a God inside of you, a higher self inside of you, that means you're never alone. And if you take that information, move forward, knowing that you got a power inside of you that no one can stop, it will open up doors for you. Okay? Blessings to you guys all. One, um, the one-on-one -on -one coaching link isn't working. Okay, thanks for telling me that. I will look at that. But again, you can go to my website. You can go so many things. But I would check out that um, one-on-one -on -one coaching. But only thing you have to do is go to the website, myworldofmetaphysics.com. My world and that's in the link too, okay? What's, um, what's the one-on-one -on -one coaching information? And once you go to the site, all the information is there. Okay, blessings to you guys all. I'm going to sign out. We're at 40 minutes, almost 41 minutes, and I want to keep it short so you can enjoy your day. Namaste to all of you guys. And remember, do further information. Get further information on affirmative prayer and spiritual mind treatment, people. And again, I'm going to sign off. Blessings to you guys all and namaste.